In the story's opening, we encounter an RJ radio jockey girl who used to narrate peculiar and unusual tales and drowning stories at night on the radio. This girl's name is Candy. Candy tells her listeners first of all that if you are afraid of hearing scary stories alone, then please turn off the radio. She says that you will not be able to sleep by listening to my stories. Candy was alone in her studio at night. She wanted to feel these stories like her listeners. She sees that a man named Jack has sent her lipstick. She also liked this color a lot. Moreover, he was also praising her voice a lot. She starts telling her first story by applying that lipstick. She tells about a girl who started living in a society where no one lived except her and her husband. All the houses there were made the same, but all were empty. Earlier that girl used to do photography business, but now her business is also over. She did not have a job, but her husband still had a small job. But in that job, even if it was difficult, both of them used to survive. And that's why they had to live in such a place for less money. That girl living in that environment began to feel that she is completely alone. There is no one around her. Only when she wakes up one day, she sees that some foxes, foxes are looking for food from her garbage. Looking at them, she comes out. So that girl starts taking pictures of those 12 foxes there. She now likes to live with them. She thinks that the life of these foxes is so good that she does not have any worries and does not think about anything. She started living with them day and night and started making pictures. She was feeling like she had a relationship with those foxes. Where she liked with the foxes, she felt her husband was her life. Day by day, as soon as her husband goes to work, she spends her whole day with those foxes. One night, her husband looks at his camera. He was surprised to see that all the pictures are of fox foxes. He has taken them very closely, which was very drowning to see. He asks her why there are such pictures in your camera and why are you changing. Hearing this, she runs away from her own house. It felt like she was running like a fox fox. Four days had passed. The girl's husband looks for her a lot, but she does not find her anywhere. Her missing posters were also put everywhere. But no one lived in this society. So who looks at her missing posters? After a few days, some foxes come to look for food in the garbage. Seeing them, the girl's husband comes out. He was running away from there, but a fox does not go anywhere from there. She was standing there. When the girl's husband shines in her eyes, she was surprised to see that the fox's eyes are just like his wife. After telling this story, Candy tells her listeners, what did you think? Did that girl really become a fox? Or was it just the thought of her husband? After telling this story, Candy takes a break. During the break, Candy had a call. That man says that I can see you. When you apply the lipstick sent by me, my name is Jack. Candy gets scared first. She thinks that someone is following her. But later she starts thinking that maybe her caller is joking with her. She cuts Jack's call. Then Candy tells another story, which was about a boy. Candy says that it was her belief that he is stuck in another world. One day when he was watching TV at home, he suddenly sees a man wearing a mask on his screen. Who was killing a girl? The surprising thing was that the place he was seeing on his screen was his house. He goes to check his house. He thinks that the house I saw is my house. But when he goes to that place, he does not see anyone. Suddenly the same girl comes in front of him. And a man wearing a mask also. Who had attacked that girl? He sees that the girl who was being killed by the masked man earlier, she runs away from there. Then that man attacks that boy. But he also escapes from him and enters the room. He quickly starts calling the police. After a while, he looks at the screen again. That man had killed a boy like him. The boy is surprised to see on the screen that I am sitting here. Then how can someone kill me? Did he reach another world for a while? He does not understand anything. Now he had to solve this riddle all his life. What happened to him in a few moments? Then listening to this story, Candy gets a call. A man says that maybe he has reached the parallel world, which was exactly like him. When Candy finishes this second story, then she gets a call from a man named Jack again. Who had also sent lipstick for him. He tells Candy his story. He says that one day I saw a very beautiful and famous girl in the bar. I liked her, but she took advantage of me. She drank the most expensive liquor of that bar with my money. After that she made fun of me and ran away with her friends. There was only one liquor for her, but I earned three months in it. Candy listens to his story and says, Oh, okay, so that day it was you. It means that the girl Jack was talking about, that girl was Candy. After hearing all this, she apologizes to him. Jack says no, I can't forgive you so easily. Now you will have to pay for it. Then Jack's call stops. After which a new caller tells his story. 
he was telling the story of a hospital where people believe that at night a woman is seen there. Now to find out about this, a film producer came to see the hospital with his employee girl. He wanted to make a horror movie at that place. The employee girl tells the producer that a nurse used to work here 100 years ago. She was then locked in a room where she kept saying only one thing that I want my child. At the same time, the producer was recording everything in his mobile. After which the nurse broke the glass of the window and killed herself. As soon as these two were talking, they were moving forward. They both notice that as if someone is following them. As if someone is following them. Regardless, they don't give this much consideration. The employee girl takes the producer to the delivery room where she tells him that it is said that the nurse's child was killed as soon as he was born. Because the doctor said that the child was a naughty child. Then the employee girl gets a picture of the doctor lying on the floor. Seeing which she says that the doctor in this picture is my grandfather. She says to the producer that this story may be true because my grandfather has never done such a wrong thing. Maybe they really think that he was a naughty child. The employee girl was telling all this story to the producer that at that time she hears the cry of a child. How could a child cry in a closed room? When the two run to see, all the doors were closed. Then a woman attacks the producer from behind. The employee girl was scared to see all this. Who will be here after all? The one who is doing this, she screams in fear that please let us go home. Who are you? Go away from here. Then a doll comes in front of her. She was also hearing from behind that I want my child. The employee girl understood that this is the same nurse's soul who is still wandering in this hospital. And what people say is absolutely true. That's why she started running away from here. On the way, she sees that the nurse's soul had torn the producer apart and killed him. Seeing this, the employee girl was more scared. Now she runs and goes to the same place where the nurse was kept. The nurse's soul was also following her. This time she just says that give me my child back. The room in which the employee girl was, it suddenly closes. Candy says this story after it is over that what do you guys think? What did the nurse's soul do to that girl? Then Jack's call comes to Candy again. He says that your time is up now. Get ready for the punishment. Candy was very scared to hear this. She immediately calls the police. But Jack was now inside his studio. One hand had a bottle of liquor and the other hand had a axe. Candy is scared and goes to the bathroom and locks herself up. Jack was also behind her. He says, Candy, you can't escape me. Today is the night of revenge. He stands outside the bathroom and says that you tell stories to everyone, right? Come on, I'll tell you a story today. Jack tells Candy the story of two sisters. He tells that they were both doctors and were going to meet their mom in another city. It was very late in the night. So a sister stops and takes some things from the road. But when she goes and sees, the shop was closed. Then a car comes to that shop and stops. The other sister was watching all this from a distance. A man comes out of the car who was looking very worried. He puts his sister in the car and started going somewhere from here. The other sister's eyes go to the back seat of the car who was watching all this from a distance. She sees that a woman is bleeding and is calling for help. Seeing this, she gets very scared and immediately calls the police because she felt that the man was kidnapping her sister and taking her away. And the woman who is in the back seat wants to kill her. She follows that man in the car. All her attention was on the phone. That's why her car collides with that stranger. Because of which that man's car hit a tree. The branches of that tree break the glass in front of the car. Because of which everyone died in that car. When she opens the door of that car and sees, there was a small child in her sister's hand who was crying. Here she understands what a big mistake she made. That man was not a kidnapper, but he was taking his pregnant wife to the hospital. He asked for help from his sister because she was a doctor and his sister also went with him willingly. Then after that, that man started going towards his sister. But the girl thought that the man was kidnapping her sister and that woman and taking them somewhere. He accidentally caused her an accident in which the whole family and her sister also died. Only her child was left. Jack, who was telling this story to Candy outside the bathroom, says that this whole story is true. Just like that girl thought about that man without thinking about anything. Similarly, you did with me. He says that night you made a lot of fun of me with your friends. I earned three months in it. Now he warns him to come out. He says that now you will open the door and come out or I will come in. He started breaking the door with a hammer. Candy was very scared of Jack's words. That's why she opens the door in fear. Jack had gone inside the bathroom. After a while, Candy comes out of the bathroom alone. She was sitting in the studio. Her face was full of blood. She comes on air and tells her listener that today I am going to tell you the strangest and most dangerous story. We can see in the bathroom where Jack's dead body was lying. 
Candy had cut him into pieces with her axe. At the end, Candy is shown she mentions that this is the Nightmare Radio, where strange and dangerous stories will never end. And with this, our story of this film ends here.